Just a little grizzly update. Shop's a real mess right now. We just uh, got the machine pulled out of the enclosure, hopefully for the last time. I know, right? Glad to be done working on this thing. Jesus. It's all empty in here. And then the junk everywhere. But, uh, yeah, and then yesterday, went down to Sausalito, California, and uh, picked up this sweet 24 by 36 surface plate. So we can start to uh, dress the table or the... Uh, you know what we're gonna do about it didn't have a surface plate big enough to you know put the thing on there and um, actually see what's going on with it so this will be a uh, step towards that I guess I'm still not sure if we're gonna have it surface ground or Blanchard ground called a couple places and have a friend that's got a big Blanchard grinder that says he can do it and so we're gonna go down there and uh, take a look and see what's going on and then on the machine, pull it out of the enclosure and uh, plopped it down onto the uh, Grizzly base. Um, just so it's way easier to work on it outside of the enclosure. But um, so now we're working on the uh, bellows for the uh, y, y axis, the back side. Um, these are the uh, bellows we had made in uh, Shandong, China, or wherever. And, um, Started working on the bracket here, just a piece of aluminum. And then I'm planning on holding it on the top of this manifold with uh, you know, three screws and then the uh, bellows are gonna be pop riveted on there. So should give us the ability to, you know, pop these three screws off when the machine is uh, in the enclosure if we have to, you know, adjust the gibbs, slide this forward, you know, whatever. But um, yeah, and then yesterday we uh, put the dovetails on this spacer so we can get the uh, bellows, you know, to come by. And uh, other than that, that's that's about it. Just gonna continue on and uh, maybe uh, clean up this uh, shithole. So, thanks.